Let's make a DIY pool heater out of this convection heater. We're gonna take this flexible copper line here and coil it inside the heater. There's only four screws holding down the cover for the heater. We're gonna take a five gallon bucket. We're just gonna make sure that everything is gonna fit. And then we're gonna coil the copper around the bucket. Just make sure you don't kink the line because if you kink the line, that's not a good thing. So I basically just opened up the center and slid it down onto the bucket. It's hitting the rim here and I'm just going to tightly coil it all the way around the bucket. I'm literally just spinning it around the bucket and it's making a nice tight coil, super easy. All right, now we've got it all tightly wound. You wanna leave a little bit at the end and you will be pulling some out of the end also. I'll show you why after. Now you're gonna take the coil that you just made and it's gonna go into the casing of the heater this here is gonna come out of one of the top holes and then we're gonna stretch out the bottom and it's gonna come out of over here. All right, so we've got our two ends sticking out and we've got it coiled inside. Do yourself a favor, if you're able to split your drum apart, split it apart, it goes in a lot easier. Next, this ring needs to go back and now we'll reattach this heater to the base. Last thing to do was to solder on the sediment taps and I am absolutely no good at soldering these things on. The last time I soldered something was when I made my first version of this heater. So don't comment on how bad those solders are. The only thing left to do now is to test it for leaks and hook it up to the pool and I'll show you guys how well it works.